and you feel like you have become rich to be very honest i saw people's comments and i was actually right keep my dignity to keep me clean stop the devil watching over me hello good people hope you're doing well Thank you so much for clicking on to this video so in today's video we are going to have a part five of the budget series and in today's video we are going to talk about the mistakes to avoid when you are budgeting so let's start i have my notes here so you'll see me looking down yes so the first mistake is not budgeting actually before even i start on my notes is not budgeting because whether you are budgeting or not then you need to meet your expenses so the first thing you need to do is ensure you have a budget it takes us to our next mistake which is having estimate budget which means you don't have an accurate budget why does this happen for instance, there has been changes in the cost of living in the recent past, maybe in our own country or across the globe. So you need to keep up with the expenses that you incur on a monthly basis and ensure that these expenses are, you factor in the actual expense. Um, last month, maybe you bought something at 250 Kenya shillings. This month, it has gone up to 350 so you have to have at least an idea maybe you can budget with 250 and then you add say like 50 kenya shillings to cater for the inflation aspect or the extra cost that you anticipate because it turns out that nowadays every time you go to shop something has shot up for instance today i went shopping and one of the items I bought, I think like a month or two at 350 is now 499. The other thing is you could actually be having your right expenses. You, uh, you go ahead and have a list, but you leave out some of the expenses. What will happen after you have finished your budget and you're now ready to do your expenses, then you're surprised with an expense. Has this ever occurred to you? Comment down below. This is also related to not having accurate estimates is not tracking your expenses. If you don't track your expenses, it means you don't actually know how much you spend or how much you need to spend. So it is very important to ensure that at every point of your budgeting, you know how much you spend and therefore it guides you as to how much you need for your expenses the next major major mistake that you can do is planning your budget based on your gross pay remember your gross pay will be taxed and this one always applies to both businesses and individuals so you can imagine if you're expecting a check of maybe half a million and then you forget the aspect of the tax then it means you will be budgeting with half a million but in essence a good portion of that amount will go to taxes so let's always budget the net pay of course this applies also to salaried people because maybe you think i earned fifty thousand, so you start revolving your budget around the fifty thousand that you earn and when the money comes that is usually the beginning of deficits and what we call living beyond your means the next which is also a big big mistake if you're a team for instance a family you need to plan as a family because if you plan individually every other member of the family has needs and expenses so which must always be considered otherwise the next time someone will be asking for some cash so you it will just be a surprise in the budget and this creates a deficit and this also creates an inconsistent budget so always ensure that you engage the family and get to understand their expenses 
so that when you're planning you plan for the overall family expenses and the individual family members expenses to avoid the surprises the other big 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 mistake is keeping up with your friends if your friends are big spenders and you have a restrictive budget then it will be a challenge for you because you'll be trying to keep up with maybe someone who can afford that item that they are buying and you can't so you you are always having a deficit or you end up having to borrow to cover up for the deficit you know what grow at your pace shop at your pace don't go to your friend's house find that they have bought a range rover now you're planning to buy a range rover buy whatever you can afford at the time of course we always say you need to have dreams and aspirations and as much as they are in the pipeline let them not be stressing you right now because you're going to lose track as you you're not able to think about focusing on them you're focusing on why someone else got it before you remember we all have our own blessings and they will come in god's time the other big mistake is impulse buying remember everything that you need has to be planned for if you don't plan you end up spending money on some money meant for something else on that impulse buying and maybe that other item was more urgent or more important than what you have just shopped for so let us have a list and focus remember most of us if not all of us we have wishes and desires that we want to achieve in this life but rome was not built in a day so you just list down all your needs and expenses that are not say for instance in your monthly budget and there are things you aspire to get in due course so it will be very very important to just have them written down and plan for them this is where we go back to our rule of saving if you start saving gradually for those big big budget items then you will achieve them gradually not necessarily overnight but gradually and of course this takes us to the next thing leaving out savings in your budget remember you need these savings to be able to meet your large budget items and sorry as we always say is you need to have a plan of these big budget items and how you want to achieve them perhaps right now you may not have the funds so you think you don't need a plan if you want to acquire something dream big whichever time it will come it is all in god's time but of course we don't sit back and wait for miracles you work hard to achieve that thing that big budget item that you desire and it is achievable if you work hard towards it the other thing is wasteful spending in my previous video i talked about when you get some extra money and you feel like you have become rich to be very honest i saw people's comments and i was actually right because you see some junk of money but because in the first place you have not planned your items you feel like you have become rich but if you have a list and it's written down if you have a list of the items that you desire to acquire then you will be able to be having priorities and what would happen in such an instance when you maybe get some extra cash you're going to pump it into your savings so that your savings can grow faster to help you to achieve your dreams or your goals those things that you desire but if you think that like you have made it after making some extra money than than maybe what you anticipated in a month then it means you're losing it because that extra money if you had a budget it would have a need but because you don't have a budget you think now you have made it 
try and ensure you have a budget and list down your priorities to try and see what impact it will have on your budget for instance maybe you have been desiring to change your tv and the first thing is do you even know the price of that tv that you desire for instance if you have a 24 inch and you want to take it to 32 inch do you know the cost of that that 32 inch uh, tv if you don't know then you're not tracking if you don't know the cost of your desires then they're not desires they're just things that you think you want but anything that you desire to acquire in this in this life you need to know where you need to know how much it costs because it will help you plan i mean how do you how do you plan maybe even those savings and you don't know how much that thing costs does it even make sense you have to know how much you need to buy that item and this is why you need to have a budget and you need to be sure that you have prioritized the items that you need the other thing is unrealistic budgets how many times do you prepare a budget and you find out that most of the items there are not needs and at the moment you're not in a position to acquire them that always brings you to a deficit because you see you're supposed to balance your needs and wants so if your needs and wants are not separated, then you will not even know how to be able to prioritize. For instance, you put all the things that you desire, but you know you have a budget restriction in terms of the amount you expect to receive every month, every week, or every day. That will not help you. You need to be certain that this is the much I'm receiving and this is the much I am able to achieve. Don't think that it is very small money that you cannot budget. If you start budgeting the so-called small money, that is the beginning of budgeting for even bigger budget items. The other thing we are going to talk about is when your budget is higher than your income. So, for instance, comment down below when you find your budget is higher. And, okay, we have said in previous videos that you can increase your income. But at this point in time, you have a budget and you have an income, which is this particular month. How do you address the deficit? Comment down below. And if, uh, for instance, you have not started maybe a side hustle or a side job that complements that the, your income how do you plan to keep on improving your expenses every every single month to be able to get to the next level because what i realize is that most of the times we keep having a deficit but we don't work around it i am i have been a victim also it's not like um it is an easy thing you find yourself you have budgeted but you're expenses exceed your income so what do you do how do you start making sacrifices if you have not watched our previous videos on how to really work around your tight budget please check them out i think i will close my video at this point thank you so much for watching this video and for always coming back to watch our videos in the meantime if you have not subscribed Kindly subscribe, it's down below. Comment, like, and share. Remember, you can support this channel by either joining the, um, the membership. There's a join button down below the name of the channel. You can also super chat us. There's a thanks button below the video there. Or you can sponsor a video. So thank you so much and see you on our next one. Bye.